everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the Challenger 3 Advanced Main Battle Tank, Britain's next generation armored powerhouse that's set to redefine what a modern tank can do on the battlefield. If you're a tank enthusiast, a military tech buff, or just love geeking out over the heavy metal machines that keep NATO's ground forces rolling, you're in for an absolute treat because the Challenger 3 isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete overhaul of the legendary Challenger 2 platform, blending cutting-edge firepower, next-level protection, and smart digital systems into one 66-ton beast designed to dominate high-intensity conflicts well into the 2040s. Developed by Rheinmetall BAE Systems Land, a joint venture between the UK's BAE Systems and Germany's Rheinmetall, this tank is the British Army's answer to evolving threats from near-peer adversaries like Russia or China, and it's already turning heads at events like DSEI 2025. We're going to break down its jaw-dropping capabilities in full detail, give you a technical rundown that'll make your head spin, and cover the latest factual news straight from the front lines as of September 11th, 2025, including fresh trial results and production updates that show this tank is closer to the battlefield than ever. So grab a snack, get comfy, and let's charge into everything you need to know about the Challenger 3. The Challenger 3's capabilities are what make it a true force multiplier for the British Army, transforming the aging Challenger 2 into a 24-hour all-weather predator that can outgun, outlast, and outmaneuver pretty much anything it faces in modern armored warfare. At its heart is the most significant upgrade of all, a brand new 120mm L55A1 smoothbore gun, an enhanced version of the L55 fitted on Leopard 2A6 and A7 tanks, replacing the Challenger 2's outdated L30A1 rifled barrel. This switch to a smoothbore design brings full NATO interoperability, letting the Challenger 3 fire advanced munitions like the DM-73 armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds, which can punch through reactive and composite armor on tanks like Russia's T-90M or T-80 BVM at ranges up to 5 kilometers, or programmable high-explosive rounds for suppressing infantry and soft targets. The gun's programmable ammunition adds versatility, allowing airburst effects for anti-drone or urban ops, and its recoil system ensures pinpoint accuracy even on the move, with a hunter-killer fire control setup that lets the commander spot one target via panoramic sights while the gunner engages another, all tied into a full digital architecture for faster target acquisition and networked warfare. Paired with the main gun is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for close-range suppression and a remote-controlled weapon station mounting a 12.7mm heavy machine gun or grenade launcher, giving the crew options against everything from light vehicles to swarms of drones without exposing themselves. Protection is where the Challenger 3 really flexes its muscles, with a completely redesigned turret and hull that make it one of the toughest nuts to crack in NATO's arsenal. Weighing in at around 66 tons in base configuration, but potentially pushing 68 tons or more with full add-ons, it features a next-generation modular armor suite called Epsom for external add-on panels and Farnham for internal layers, combining advanced composites, depleted uranium elements, and explosive reactive armor to shrug off tandem warhead anti-tank missiles like the Javelin or Cornet, while also resisting top attack threats from drones or loitering munitions. This armor is bolted on for easy upgrades, allowing the tank to adapt to new threats without a full redesign, and it includes chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear protection to keep the four-person crew, commander, gunner, loader, and driver, safe in contaminated zones. The real game-changer is the integration of an active protection system like Israel's Trophy, which uses radar and hard-kill interceptors to detect and destroy incoming projectiles in a 360-degree bubble before they hit, neutralizing anti-tank-guided missiles or rocket-propelled grenades mid-flight. Add in advanced electro-optical sensors, a full digital fire control system, and improved situational awareness through Oselsen-style upgrades for thermal and night vision, and you've got a tank that can operate in total darkness or foul weather, spotting enemies before they spot you. Mobility keeps the Challenger 3 agile despite its heft. Powered by an upgraded Perkins CV-12 1,200 horsepower diesel engine and an advanced drivetrain that pushes it to a top speed of 59 kilometers per hour on roads and gives it an operational range of 450 kilometers, enough to sustain long advances without constant refueling. 
The hydropneumatic suspension system, refined from the Challenger 2, absorbs shocks on rough terrain like the muddy fields of Eastern Europe or desert sands, ensuring stable firing platforms even at speed, while the tank's low ground pressure from wider tracks prevents it from bogging down in soft soil. The operational flow is a seamless blend of man and machine. Sensors like the upgraded commander's panoramic sight and gunner's primary sight detect threats up to 10 kilometers out, feeding data into the digital fire control system for instant calculations on wind, range, and movement. The commander assigns targets via a touchscreen interface, the gunner fires with laser-guided precision, and the trophy system automatically counters incoming fire all while the driver repositions using GPS and inertial navigation for tactical maneuvers. This makes the Challenger 3 perfect for high-tempo ops, whether leading a NATO armored thrust against Russian T-90s or holding urban lines in hybrid warfare. The latest news as of September 11, 2025, has the Challenger 3 program firing on all cylinders, with fresh milestones proving it's no longer just a prototype, but a tank ready to roll. Just yesterday, on September 10th, Rheinmetall announced the successful completion of the first mobility trials for a Challenger 3 prototype, covering 789 kilometers across road and cross-country terrain to gather crucial data on noise, vibration, crew interface, and overall performance, marking a key step toward the system qualification review later this year. These trials, conducted in Germany, refined the tank's design for final manufacturing standards, with the British Army now expecting the first deliveries in 2025, accelerating from the original 2027 timeline. By April 2025, four prototypes had been delivered for field trials, with another four in production, and the Ministry of Defense confirmed additional resources to secure supply chains amid concerns over delays. At DSEI 2025 last week, the British Army unveiled the most advanced iteration yet, showcasing upgraded armor modules on the turret and glasses plate, a full suite of electro-optical sensors, and the L55A1 gun in action, with RBSL emphasizing its modular architecture for upgrades into the 2040s. The program, costing around £1.3 billion for 148 tanks, about £8.8 .8 million each, has seen eight pre-production vehicles and trials by early 2024, and full operational capability is locked in for 2030, despite critiques about the small fleet size making it a brittle force compared to larger NATO holdings like Germany's 320 Leopard 2s. This 148-tank fleet, upgraded from existing Challenger 2s, will form the backbone of the British Army's heavy brigade combat teams alongside Ajax and Boxer vehicles, providing a credible deterrent on NATO's eastern flank, with plans to deploy them to Estonia by the mid-2020s as part of enhanced forward presence. Fun fact, the Challenger 3's smoothbore gun aligns it with NATO standards, ditching the rifled barrel that limited ammo options but kept the tank's signature high-velocity punch, and its trophy integration could make it the first Western tank with full hard-kill APS as standard. Another cool tidbit, during trials, the tank's vibration data helps fine-tune crew ergonomics, ensuring four-person teams can fight fatigue-free in prolonged engagements. The Challenger 3 is a testament to British engineering grit, turning a 30-year-old platform into a 21st-century killer that'll keep the army lethal for decades. So, what do you all think about the Challenger 3? Are you blown away by its modular armor and smoothbore firepower? Curious about those trial results? Or maybe you've got thoughts on its NATO role? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, Share it with your friends who love tank tech. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more deep dives into the machines shaping modern warfare. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.